Hello guys, uh, most common problem on this iPad Pro A1701 is you are replacing the screen and then suddenly something blow up and no display. So this is what happened with this one which I, we have been told. So I have fixed a lot of these. First of all, if you are working on these iPad Pros, make sure you disconnect the battery otherwise you're gonna blow something up and uh, sometimes they are fixable most of the time they are fixable and sometimes they are not fixable so let's check what's wrong with this one first of all we will start with uh, FPC connector and we'll see if it's an easy fix we can find something blown there fix it and we got the display and if not then we will look at the logic board Uh, this one is a little bit looks like black color I know this is a filter this is a filter I don't know what it is but let's check what we know this is good this is good this is good as well but it's a little bit blackish okay so that means I couldn't find anything unusual here burnt broken so but this this gives me a little bit of idea something has happened of course that's why there was no display but let's check if what is this part is Okay, so this one there is which one? This one? Yeah, no, looks like it's a filter. Let's see if we can find most probably. The next thing, if it's not the fuse, is usually on this 10.5 inch iPad Pro is diode, isn't it? Yeah, do you see that? As I was expecting, it's burnt. Anything else? Anything else? Something there. Okay, let me remove this. This I'm not sure, but this is I'm sure it's gone. Let me check this one here. So multimeter in diode mode. And we know how to check diode, right? It flows current in one direction. <coughs> and doesn't in the 
other direction yeah this is also blown both of these blown so we will remove both of these it's just still burning see smoke man man I have to put this here okay so that the battery is disconnected what the hell They become so much fragile after they are burnt. The next one is here. Okay. Well done. All good. I have no idea why don't these they make these give us little bit bigger so that it's easier to install so first of all I will press this down here and sorry I don't think you can see but this is how it is so here yeah okay i had a click now i will move it around here so that i can put uh it came out let's put it this way so that okay. all right so maybe the idea is put it this way and now put the screw 
that's good. Let's see if something burnt out. Okay. Now, let's move it back. Make sure it's all connected. Try turning it on. Maybe the battery could be flat, so I will get the cable. Oh, yeah. Do you see? Got the display. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Anyway, let's do it again. So guys it turns on finally and it's all working good now and thank you very much for watching see you in next video bye